Hello everyone and it's Jack from Visual Effects. So today I just want to talk about a really underrated 3D piece of software. It's free and it's for Microsoft users only I believe. So you can get it from the Microsoft Store and it's called Paint 3D. Once it opens it looks like this. So the reason I believe this is a pretty cool piece of software is if we just go in and create a new project and we go to our 3D shapes We've got these three options for 3D doodles. So we can, we'll just pick this one for now and we can draw this little wiggly line. So the reason I think it's quite underrated is because this is great for like creating wires quite fast. So if you needed to create quite a few, you can do this and just draw and squiggle them around, which is pretty cool. There is a limitation. So if you notice there's a little clock as you're drawing, showing you the limit of the length of the line that you can draw and that's it, can't go any further than that. But the good thing as well about these is once you've done them you can manipulate the like spline points which is amazing. So for fast, really quick um, ideas for... So it's useful for quick 3D ideas, um, maybe neon tubing as well and also anything that's like wires and stuff that's it's really fast ideas. So then we can just jump into the 3D view as well and then manipulate even further. So I'm mo moving them in the Z axis as well. So as you can see, like you could quickly create wires and then it's as simple as just saving out a 3D model and you've got GLB and 3MF formats, which is pretty cool. Also worth noting, the two formats that this software exports is not compatible with Cinema 4D and potentially not with some of the Autodesk products. But what you can do is you can export it and import it into Blender and then export from Blender to another um, to another format that's best suited. So you could import into Blender and then export as an FBX which can be used elsewhere. Let's just quickly look at some of the other tools it has. So it has this other draw doodle option. So you can create shapes. This this sort of thing would take quite a long time in another piece of software. So it's, it is very limited, but like there are certain use cases where this would actually be beneficial. Like an obvious one that's standing out to me at the moment is if you used to draw it, if you used to make a jigsaw puzzle with millions of pieces, but you wanted to man manually create all the shapes then this would be a better way to approach it. Crazy little slabs, designs, pieces of like flat design on a wall. So then if we just jump into the 3D view, it's done all that for us. So that is really cool. You can then export this and import it into a 3D software and use it as a starting point as well, which is great. And then there's the soft edge one. which kind of balloons it up. So like cartoony clouds, balloons, anything anything pretty simple in terms of shape would be useful with this tool. Quickly on this doodle as well, there is actually, so you can change the thickness, but you can change the taper as well so that it does that kind of thing, which is amazing and then you can have it the opposite which is probably easier to control to be fair um, and then you can have the other taper where it tapers both ends so useful for like probably drawing a quick moustache so and then because it's that same tool you've got the option to manipulate which is absolutely fantastic and then the last option which is I don't know what that's supposed to be weird randomness. So hopefully you found this new piece of software useful and I'll catch you on the next video.